Hello guys, uh, it's uh, from Technitude and today we're gonna take a look on creating browsers in cinema. Now, I'm not going to go deep first of all, so I'm actually telling it in the cloud deep tag. So if you want a deep explanation, just to check out this video, you can click here or just go and uh, in the description to have the link in the below. Uh, first of all, I will appreciate for those 48 subscribers to subscribe. If you're not one of those, uh, it doesn't matter. You can subscribe now. So now let's start with this. Now here I set up an example for you. Uh, this is what we're gonna creating. It's like this. Uh, nice textures. You can see nice full on cloth. And uh, you can, yeah, that looks fine. Now this is not only one example I created, so I will show you one another one. This is also in one example which I created for you guys to check it out. You can see, looks actually much realistic, didn't it? Yeah, that's fine. So we're gonna take a look on how I did that. So create a new file, go in the render settings, make an HD component, select any one of the presets like, doesn't matter fine go in the content browser and actually select which uh, let me show you first of all go in presets prime humans and select one of those you like so create a cube actually shrink it up if you like making the size will uh, really matters going in the front view move it upward now you have to do is Yeah, let's stretch it more. Looks fine. Now let it be. Sorry guys. Now it's fine. Now you can shrink it up a bit or you like it doesn't matter really. Now going in this mode and making sure you set it up with your height and components. Looks quite fine. Now you have to do make 53 segments and 10 segments for your why now you can see we have much uh, uh, complicated segments that's fine for the thing which we're doing here go to object select cube hit c for the editable i'm just click a button tap here hit space go in the polygon mode yeah, and select those which are on his legs fine and let's just leave one polygons up there and select all of these now you can take an extruding look on both twice so extrude and make a subdivision 5 will be fine hit R to rotate and he hit uh, D that's it really done it we are okay with that delete this polygons from the below of the leg and those polygons hit, uh, hit space to go in your selection tool a uh, nice tip uh, you can press the middle mouse and uh, drag drag the mouse upward to uh, increase the size of your selection delete those no, no need of that once you did that you can actually do is select this middle portion transform it a bit uh, downwards a bit don't do much a bit in you don't want to mess up with these polygons guys really my advice didn't mess with them you can do a lot of gap less gap because will really help now you have to press u and you, you get much list for those selections hit l for your loop selection u l for loop selection you know the shortcut then it's okay and for those guys who don't know this is the trick select those Go in the cube, uh, so simulation tag, cloud, and in the thread, go to tag, simulation tag, cloud collider. Selecting this, selecting the cube actually, in the cloud tag, seam the polys, and hit, just uh, make this distance quite low, zero, and step tool, hit dressomatic. So, now it's uh, making the cloud. So till now and till then we meet you later on. Once it's done, I'll be back. So yeah, it's done guys. I'm back. 
and now you can see really uh, if you done just uh, click initial straight set now this is your initial straight you can now edit you want uh, so let's take a look you can see nice clean no messing up with the polygons we took just take a look around you like yeah looks well now you can do is actually for making it more important like using dynamics you have to go in the point mode select the points you like so first of all go in the front view actually hit selection in the settings you use on the set visible image and check that select the first three or first four actually will be fine again make sure you uh, click on that and go in the dresser tab and any fixed point set and make sure you check out the draw so now we go in perspective view now those points are fixed now if I play actually those points isn't get affected but still we are not best for the dynamics so go in the forces inside that uh, you go in the tags actually uh, make sure you don't bump up to 35 do about uh, 20 swiftness uh, I'll actually take this with the bounce about 5 and increase up the friction uh, mass size you can do rubber hit once flexion about 40 now you're done with the dynamics hit play and check it out your own you can see won't get much down affected you can play with the settings with uh, what type of you want you can use maps too for your uh, condition you can see looks well and get wide affected so that's fine so this is it guys we are done how to create browser and even uh, this is the most uh, I don't think but it's the most easiest way to create so without messing up the polygons you like and for more textures you want you can throw it in subdivisional surface cube now you have much surface bump it to trace and force so but make sure you use much don't use much of the subdivision because it will slow up your system so that's it guys we'll meet you next time uh, it's it's nick from technotude